glorious day. Sun is shining, and all the neighborhood zombies are out playing with their friends. Hopefully not including their new friend Michael. There it is. Michael's place. <laughs> no, dearie me. You lose your keys. Suicidal Zom or Zombie Slaying Michael? Both equally unlikely. Ah, grand. Someone left me a little snack. Not too long ago either. Hollywood Careers Undressed by Michael Anders. Man of many talents. This better not be your blood, Mikey. Ah, shite. Locked. Michael, scream if you're bleeding out. No? Hmm, key, key, key. <laughs> Jesse said she hung up the keys, so where are they? There was a. Ah! Knocked from the hook. Please don't be dead, please don't... Back! Well, he's not bleeding out here, at least. Maybe he went to that Jessie's place. I need her address. Just a map of some movie loss. Oh, hey, Michael. This is Roxanne Kwan. If Jess is there studying, could you tell her to be back here by 8? I don't want her to miss the party. Um, probably best you don't come, though. After, you know. Okay. Bye. All right, Jesse Kwan. Maybe you'll know where Mike. There you are, Jesse Kwan. And she lives right next door. On his trail like a fox after a bleeding rabbit. I'm coming for you, Michael. Yeah, to save you, that is. Oh, uh, sorry, zombie. Party's over. Not a zombie, just... Is this a pizza? Hey, do you have pizza? Of course I do. Now let us in. Uh, yeah. Well, if I open this door, a whole load of zombies might rush in, and I'm pretty sure that's a, a bad thing. Then why have you left the gate wide open? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we're having this big party, right? And some of the guys, not, not me, were riding on the gate, and, and, and it broke it. Now, there's a whole bunch of spares in the garage, but it's like full of riffraff. Fine. I'll give closing it a lash. Oh, killer. I'll hit the garage button. You bounce the party crashers and fix things up. And then, dude, 
Mikasa is is uh your Mikasa. Hey Roxy, if we got company, find your jeans. Oh. The fuck is my underwear? Sure. And there's a poke in Darwin's eye. Party's over. Fighting music. I can jam to this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This has been fun, boys, but I should close that gate now. This will work. Genius. Hey, were you getting the pizza or were you fighting zombies in the yard? Feeding pizza to the zombies. Oh, right. You say pizza? Right. No pizza. Sorry, man. Big evacuation party, you know. Oh, shit. We gotta get to the evac. Roxy? Roxy, hey, hey. Come on, babe. No time to sleep. We gotta evacuate. Hey, Jesse, pack your shit. We're going. <sighs> evac was ages ago. Oh, my fucking skull. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Boom! 
gods and whiskey. Gods and whiskey. <laughs> Slept through another alarm. <sighs> hey, at least we got supplies for a few months. <laughs> you have that much food on hand? Food? Focus, you useless pair of gobshites. I'm looking for Michael Anders. What do you want with that stiff? They don't get along. You don't call the lead singer of Gods and Whiskey a has been. Damn right. The correct term is was green. <laughs> Baked bean. <laughs> Dead fiend, if you keep it up. Okay, okay. Jesse might know. Oh, she's not here. Huh. I'm not getting that feeling of disapproval. Huh. Another note. Dear Mother, if you must have sex at three in the morning, please can you refrain from moaning and screaming quite so loudly? That was you. <laughs> Say she's gone up the hill to help a friend. You let her prance about alone. Hey, she's smart. She's in med school. Hmm, she's real sneaky too. Every time I turn around, it's like, whoa, she's right there. Ugh, <laughs> I'll find her. Ah, cool. Looks like we're gonna have the place to ourselves. Uh, no. I need to get my head together. Hey, come on, she's gonna be okay. They're gonna find her. Come on, let's, like, plan and shit. Uh, yeah, play to our strengths. Hmm. Thanks. Let's hear your big plan, then. Let's see this note, then. Nothing. So she's hanging out with these construction workers. Oh, yeah. They were renovating one of the big houses up the hill, and the crew will hold up inside. You can't miss it. Got it. Rescue time. Ooh, a stolen sword, huh? Bet it goes with my outfit. No one told me Zomfest was happening this year. <laughs> Looks like Jessie played her own set at Zomfest. Bet the crowd went wild. Jesse must have used this ladder to get up and throw it back down. Fecker! Traps! Better watch my step.
Jesse, Mr. Construction and Co. Anyone? <laughs> Really pulling the crowds? Was fun while it lasted. Whew. Sure glad you showed up. I'm Jesse. Danny. I'm a friend of Michael's. Oh. But he never mentioned you. Met at the McZombers Cotillion. That's the Connecticut McZombers, of course. You bonded over not being dead? It's my favorite quality in a person. Know where he is. On his way to Monarch Studios. The movie loss? Why? He had to get something important. So I made a lot of noise to distract all the zombies, and Michael snuck through the gate to the studio access road. My plan was to hang out with construction guys till the zombies got bored and left. The construction guys who are all zombies? Well, obviously I didn't know about that. They were fine yesterday. Things change quick around here. Listen, I was sent by your ma. She's worried about you. Oh, they regained consciousness, did they? You know, she was perfectly sensible before she met Ricky. Now it's like trying to keep a couple of wasted teenagers alive. Well, lucky they've got Mother Jessie to look after them, eh? Hmm. I just hope Michael comes back. I miss having someone intelligent to talk to. I'll walk you back to your door if you like, darling. I'm pretty sneaky when Michael's not galumphing along next to me. You can get going. Fair play to you. Good luck. Monarch Studios. The hell were you going there for, Michael?
you know, you're like, you're good at this. You, you're good at, um, apocalypses. This. Stop, stop. You're making me blush. But I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm not. Roxy and me, staying out of trouble is like a full-time job, man. I've only ever been really good at one thing, and pff, I barely even do it anymore. Gods and Whiskey is still something to be proud of. You were the soundtrack of my teenage years. Ouch. And exactly. Like, what have we done lately? I gotta find that spark again, man. Get back in touch with the gods instead of just the whiskey. Oh, Farouk! Gesundheit. Farouk's our producer. He lives next door downhill, like, totally obsessive about discographies. Collects every master tape and unreleased track you could imagine. Including ours. Hey, some of those had real promise. I wonder if... Maybe sample them? Hey, I I'll be right back, man. Tell Roxy not to worry. Right back? You're not thinking of going out there for feckin' master tapes. I know you're not. I'm not? You're not good at apocalypsing, remember? I'll get your tapes. For one thing, being responsible for a new G&W album would mean bragging rights forever. Oh, kick ass! If Farouk's not home, just ask his boyfriend Dave to show you around. Tell him I sent you. If either of them are still there and alive, sure. Jessie said you saved her. She wasn't in too much trouble yet by the time I found her. But yes. I can't thank you enough. Jessie is... she's everything. If you ever need her place to shelter, come by any time. Uh, just don't forget the pizza next time, okay? He's... kidding. I could hoist myself up onto that, French rioter style. Sorry, Dave. You weren't much of a bouncer. I'll just let myself in. <sighs> the best clubs are always the hardest ones to get into. Now, let's see if the DJ has these old G and W tracks. <sighs> Master tape number one. I hope I get to listen to some of these last tunes.
Oof. Safety in numbers does nothing against just one little zombie nibble. Oh well. Time for a jam. Duke excellence is on this one. Proper old school party track, that is. There it is. Comeback album of the century. Here we go. Ooh.
Becky, me boy. The roving music historian has returned. Oh, hey. I don't remember calling a... Do we have an interview scheduled? An interview? No, you rampant waste of oxygen. I'm back from having, at great personal risk, mind, recovered your stupid master tapes from your stupid producer's undead house party. Farouk's? Oh, man. Dave's gonna be, like, heartbroken. On which note, I bear startlingly similar news. Oh, sad note, man. Like, ballad-worthy. There was this one track we laid down and... Hey, wait. D did you say master tapes? I was just thinking about getting those back. What an unexpected coincidence. This is fucking awesome, man. I'm gonna listen to them right away. I oh, there's some gems on here, you know? Some real gems. I... I uh, think. Hey, thanks. You're like a guardian angel of rock. I suppose that's something to put on me business cards. You know, if you were a zombie, you'd still be hot as hell. Aw, oh, thanks, babe. And if anyone's gonna eat me, I'd want it to be you. <laughs> well, we got a lot of time to kill, babe. So I could get started on that. Ricky! Party and a half, was it? <laughs> Shit. You call this a party? Well, this is nothing like the parties that God used to throw. Gods and whiskey, brother. Oh, my neck. I'm getting too old to be waking up in bathtubs.